equivalent fractions. Finding the missing number. Today, let us learn how to find the missing number in a pair of equivalent fractions. There are different methods to obtain the missing number. They are 1 by multiplication, 2 by division, 3 by cross multiplication. Method 1 by multiplication. Find the missing number in the given pair of equivalent fractions. The numerator of one fraction is missing. So, we look at the denominators of both the fractions. Here, 15, which is the denominator of the missing numerator, is greater than and also a multiple of 5, the other denominator. Hence, we have to find a number which, when multiplied by 5, gives 15. Yes, 5 multiplied by 3 gives 15. Since we multiplied the denominator by 3, we also have to multiply the numerator by the same number to get the missing number. That is, 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Look, we got the missing numerator as 6. Thus, 2 upon 5 and 6 upon 15 are the given equivalent fractions. Method 2 by division. Find the missing number in the given pair of equivalent fractions. Here also we look at the denominators of both the fractions. Here 21 is greater than and a multiple of 3. Here the smaller number is the denominator of the missing numerator. Hence we have to find the number by which when 21 is divided gives the answer 3. Correct. 21 divided by 7 gives 3. So to find the missing number we divide the numerator 14 also by 7 and get the answer as 2. Thus 14 upon 21 and 2 upon 3 are the given equivalent fractions. Method 3 by cross multiplication. Find the missing number in the given pair of equivalent fractions. Here, as neither of the numbers in the numerators are multiples of each other, so for such kind of fractions, we cross multiply the numerator of one fraction with the denominator of the other fraction, that is 7 and 9 here. Thus, 7 into 9 is equal to 63. Now, to find the missing number, we check which factor, when multiplied by 3, gives the product 63. Yes, 3 into 21 is equal to 63. Thus, 7 upon 21 and 3 upon 9 are the given equivalent fractions. Now, let us solve some more examples. Find the missing number to make the given fractions equivalent. Look at the first one. Here, we will use the division method as 14 is a multiple of 2 and 2 is less than 14. So, on dividing the numerator and denominator by 7, we get the missing number, that is 3. Example 2. By cross multiplication, the missing number can be found as neither 6 nor 9 are multiples of each other. So, 6 multiplied by 6 is equal to 36 and 9 multiplied by 4 gives 36. Hence, the missing number is 4. Example 3. Here, 
as 48 is a multiple of 6 and also greater than 6, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 8 to get the missing number 72. Kids, remember, the different methods that can be followed to obtain the missing number in a pair of equivalent fractions are 1 by multiplication, 2 by division, 3 by cross multiplication.